Today, cancer ranks among the top 5 global health concerns which the world is facing. India contributes nearly 1.5 million new cancer patients every year. Ignorance of the symptoms of early disease coupled with lack of screening facilities lead to a delayed diagnosis in most patients. Most of the patients present to us with locally advanced cancer and need more than one modality of treatment to control the disease. Radiotherapy or radiation oncology as this branch is called today is one of the three premier modalities which is used in the treatment of cancer the others being surgery and chemotherapy in radiation oncology we use ionizing radiation in the treatment of cancers more than 70% of cancer patients need some form of radiation therapy to complete the treatment identifying this huge demand for the need of radiotherapy treatment service The management at Sri Ramchandra Institute of Higher Education and Research started a state of the art modern radiotherapy treatment facility within the premises and this department started functioning in January 2017 as on date nearly 2100 cancer patients have benefited from this department and the facility has offered and completed nearly 50000 radiotherapy treatment sessions as on date equipped with cutting edge technology in the form of the latest triple energy lenac versa hd from united kingdom and the fastest beam shaping tool in the form of the agility mlc and the 18 channel hdr remote afterloading brachytherapy equipment from netherlands the micros electron this department today offers comprehensive radiotherapy treatment care to the patients approaching the hospital in fact the entire gamut of radiotherapy needs starting from conventional radiation to contemporary radiotherapy techniques such as conformal rt intensity modulated radiotherapy image guided radiotherapy stereotactic radiotherapy flattening free filter beam radiotherapy electron beam radiotherapy and uh, the whole body radiation facilities are today offered by the department in addition to patient treatment the department also offers teaching program in the form of md radiotherapy postgraduate program and bsc radiotherapy technology program under the college of ahs of sri ramchandra thus ramchandra today joins the unique league of teaching hospitals which also have comprehensive in house oncology facilities what sets us apart from other oncology centers in patient care we insist that every patient's treatment plan should be discussed in the multi specialty tumor board and a proper approval for the plan to be obtained before commencing treatment Most of our patients have a PET CT done and this PET CT information is used in planning for radiotherapy which improves the radiotherapy precision. We also lay great emphasis on rehabilitation of the patient in the form of nutritional care, swallowing therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy and physiotherapy which these patients get along with radiotherapy, chemotherapy and surgery. This enables a faster and better rehabilitation of the patient to their pre-disease state let us now see how the department of radiation oncology at srihar is using modern medical technology to help cancer patients in overcoming the disease as one walks through the corridors of the department we see a perfect blend of eye soothing aesthetics in the design of the department which gives a feeling of a home away from home to the multitude of patients who are approaching this center for the treatment needs the first step in the process of radiotherapy treatment is creating a immobilization device specific for each patient to keep them motionless and still during the treatment process the most common immobilization device used is an aquaplast mold this mold is made of a specific material which becomes pliable when immersed in hot water and this pliable sheet is then molded over the particular part of the body of the patient which is going to receive radiotherapy treatment once the mold is shaped to the body contour it is allowed to cool and is allowed to set to get a rigid mask like device which can be fixed to the treatment couch thereby preventing the patient from moving during the actual treatment process this thereby enhances the accuracy and the reproducibility of treatment delivery the process of making this mold takes about 15 to 20 minutes for each patient and is carried out 
and a laser guidance to ensure reproducibility in the treatment room. For pediatric patients, another immobilization device called the vac lock is used where a body cushion is created under negative pressure to match the child's body contour in which the child is placed during treatment ensuring a greater comfort and better immobilization. The next step is CT simulation where the patient is fitted with the immobilization device and then undergoes a CT scan of that part of the body containing the tumor. At Schreher, we use a modern day PET CT scan from Siemens Germany for CT simulation. Using the PET CT for radiotherapy simulation increases the accuracy of tumor delineation during the radiotherapy planning process. This in turn increases the accuracy of treatment and also helps to minimize the side effect. Thereby, the tumor control is increased and the side effects are decreased by reducing the radiation to the normal structures. This greatly benefits our patients. The next step after CT simulation is the process where the CT images are transferred to a sophisticated computer called the treatment planning system. Here the radiation oncologist studies the images and outlines the tumor in each CT scan slides. In addition, he or she also outlines the normal structures which should be protected from radiation. Each CT series has around 200 slices of information and the oncologist has to outline the tumor and the normal structures in each slice. Following the tumor delineation on the CT slices, the radiation oncologist and the medical physicist join together in planning how the radiation beam should be placed and how the beam should be aligned around the patient to ensure maximum dose to the tumor and least dose to normal tissue. After selecting a particular beam profile, the actual shaping of the beam to match the target and the duration of treatment is calculated with the help of the planning software. This is the most important part of the radiation treatment process and it may take several hours to get an ideal plan for a particular patient. At Srihar, with the availability of modern treatment planning system software, our radiotherapy treatment planning time has reduced less than 24 hours. In the next step called as quality analysis, the treatment plan generated using the planning software is first executed on a device called as the Phantom and the dose to be delivered by the patient to the, sorry, to the patient is recorded by the machine. Thus, the important step of verifying whether the plan created by the doctor and the medical physicist for a patient is actually verified before execution. And only after the plan passes the QA test does the oncologist certify the plan for treatment execution. The actual treatment is then executed on the radiotherapy generating machine called as the linear accelerator. And this linear accelerator is placed inside the treatment room which is called as the radiation bunker. These bunkers have thick concrete walls which prevent radiation leakage thereby eliminating the exposure to the public and to the radiation stuff. From the treatment console, as the patient is undergoing the treatment, he is monitored with the help of CCTV cameras by the radiation oncologist as well as the technologist. As the machine moves around the patient, the beam is continuously shaped by the movement of the leaves of the beam shaper called as the multi-leaf collimator. As the leaves of the multi-leaf collimator shape the beam, the intensity of the radiation continuously changes such that the tumor area receives a higher radiation intensity while the normal tissues receive a lower dose intensity thereby the tumor gets a higher dose and the normal tissues are spared from radiation. Apart from offering LINAT based treatment, the department also offers high dose rate brachytherapy treatment to the cancer patients approaching the hospital. This treatment is delivered as an OPR day, a day care procedure using the remote afterloader equipment called as microselectron which has been imported from Netherlands as well as radioactoisotope iridium-192. Mostly this treatment is useful for gynecological patients as well as for head and neck cancer patients and this treatment facility is available today in certain select centers only. In short, Ramchandra today offers the best of evidence-based medicine along with a holistic approach to cancer care. We firmly believe that there is care beyond cure. Kindly give us a chance to serve you. Thank you.